Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we will see that uh, when we are trying to connect our MySQL database uh, with the Spring application, then we are getting some error and it's a huge long error that is 87 common frames omitted. But guys, if we scroll it up uh, on this error and let me slide over here. So here we can see that error creating bean with the name entity manager factory defined in the class path and all the way long if you go to the end then we can see no identify specified for the entity user login user so basically i was trying to create a project in which uh, i was creating a user login form and the registration form so here is the uh, columns that i uh, want in my database and i want a table from the name users so here i am having some fields like id email password first name last name so guys here in this place we are getting error as you can see that uh, it is showing no identifier specified so what does this mean is that whenever we create a table in a sql database then we have to uh, assign a notation called at the rate id to the primary key that have, uh, whatever we want in our sql table like guys in this database i am having a field id and i want this as a primary key so i am assigning at the rate id a notation thereafter also I'm getting this error so guys one thing that you need to remember is that whenever we are importing this ID field annotation sorry ID annotation that we need not to import it from the spring framework instead we have to use the Java persistent API that is JPA so what we have to do is you will just simply comment this out and we'll go to import Java X dot persistent dot ID either guys you can uh, use the star notation so that uh, you won't face any of the errors again if you uh, got it imported from the spring framework otherwise guys you can import it directly like java x persistent dot id and just comment this out now we will save this and we'll go to the test file and we'll try to run this function again a unit test so let's see if our error is removed or not So guys now you can see that my program has run successfully in the J unit also you can see that I am getting this green color tick mark box over my function this means there are no failures oh, over here you can see that runs 1 uh, slash 1 errors are 0 failures are 0 so like uh, this was the error that we were getting so guys here also you can see like uh, on the console screen and uh, the J unit test I have already shown you that we have not got any error in the program and it ran successfully and uh, here on the mysql terminal also you can see that uh, the uh, database name was J, uh, java db in the application of properties file here you can see that i have created the database from the name java db and uh, we are having a table inside that users and we have got all the fields saved over here so guys this is how you can remove the error from your program so guys, if you have any further error, then you can ask in the comment section or ping us on the Instagram or GitHub page. I will leave all the links in the description. Thank you.